Small, fast, and often found lurking in homes across Australia and New Zealand. Their bites have sparked plenty of fear and myths, but how bad are they really? Unlike some other spider bites, a white-tailed spider is not deadly, but it can be quite painful. Symptoms usually include a burning or stinging sensation, redness, swelling, and sometimes itching at the bite site. Some people report small ulcers or blistering, but claims that the white-tailed spiders cause flesh-eating wounds have never been scientifically proven. However, like any bite, secondary infections can occur if not treated properly. So what should you do if you're bitten? Follow these simple first aid steps. Number one, wash the bite site with soap and water to prevent infection. Apply an ice pack to reduce pain and swelling. Avoid scratching to prevent further irritation or infection. If symptoms worsen or signs of infection appear, like spreading redness, pus, or fever, seek medical attention immediately. Most white tail spider bites heal within a few days, but in rare cases, some people may experience prolonged irritation or allergic reactions. If in doubt, always consult a doctor. White tail spiders might have a bad reputation, but their bite isn't nearly as dangerous as many believe. Stay calm, apply first aid, and chances are, you're gonna be just fine.